How powerful is Gilderoy Lockhart? During his time at Hogwarts, Gilderoy was sorted into Ravenclaw, but was also very close to being sorted into Slytherin. His magical abilities were actually above average, and his teachers considered him cleverer than most of his classmates. Gilderoy's biggest problem was that he had to be the best at everything. Increasingly, he directed his talents towards shortcuts and attention-seeking. He magically carved massive letters of his own name into the Quidditch pitch. In contrast to Lord Voldemort's dark mark, Lockhart created an illuminated projection of his own face which he could cast into the sky, and somehow he manipulated the outpost into delivering 800 Valentine's Day cards to himself in the Great Hall. In his adult life, Lockhart found that his talent for memory charms was unmatched. He used his considerable talent to force incredible wizards to forget their accomplishments, while he took credit for their acts of greatness. So yes, most of his accolades were gained through deception, but powerful deception. Gilderoy had the wizarding community at large fooled and quite thoroughly wrapped around his finger. In reality, he had neglected his other magical abilities to the point where he could barely perform basic spell work. Gilderoy is more show than he is substance. We give him a power scale score of 5.5 out of 10, whereas he gives himself a power scale score of 10 out of 10.